Naam, mwezi kuniambia unanipenda na unataka nikupende ni kama cha lazima. Changamoto ni nyingi sana kwa muziki. Sababu ni ya jamii ni watu aina gani watasikiza muziki. Kuna wale wenye wameumbwa na usanaa wa kuchora, uimbaji, mm. sakata au no, vile vile wa eh? kusakata dance. Uh-huh. Hata mimi nikisema leo nichukue niende kuuza mangogi kwa mbona? Uh-huh. Changanya nikia mkasubui niombe nichukue ni uzenda kwa nauza uh-huh. biashara yangu itatua. Lazima uanzie pale bado shiki yako na Mungu ingo na biti. Kuna mko na jinsi ya kuchombea. Hujambo uh-huh. mpenzi mtazamaji karibu kwenye runinga ya CFI RLM TV jina ni Miriam Munji tukiwa ndani ya kipindi cha vidato nakwambia kigoda kiko motoni hii leo tukiwa wiki yetu ya tatu nakwambia ni ile wiki ya ma hmm, mnato mnato eh ni wiki ya mapenzi mpenzi mtazamaji kumbuka unatupata kupitia uh, mtandao wa kijamii pale Facebook CFI RLM TV ndani ya vidato huwa tunasema kwamba hapa ndipo tunajikuza tunajielimisha na ni lazima tupige hatua zile za kusonga mbele usije ukabaki nyuma mpenzi mtazamaji. Kumbuka nilikwambia usiwe mchoyo, ambia rafiki, rafiki ambia rafiki kwamba aweze kutizama CFI RLM TV pale katika mtandao wa kijamii mpenzi mtazamaji. Na acha nikwambie. Tunapozungumzia hili swala la mapenzi hii leo, uh, siri na kuanga ya watu wangapi? Hmm? Mpenzi mtazamaji, siri ni watu wangapi? Huenda ukasema siri ya watu wawili. Mara nyingi watu husema kwamba siri ni za watu wawili, lakini acha nikwambie siri ni ya mtu. Hiyo siri kati ya wapi? Moyoni. Maana siri unaiweka moyoni, ukishatoa moyoni bwana eh si siri tena, sawa eh? Kwa hivyo siri ya mapenzi ni siri yako peke yako mpaka ile siku ambayo utaamua kwamba unataka mtu au umempata mtu kufaa mpenzi mtazamaji. Na ndani ya mjengo mada yetu siku ya leo ni mada nyeti sana. Lakini ukiona ni kitabasamu zaidi sana jua kwamba tunaye mgeni ndani ya mjengo ambaye anaenda kutuelekeza ama atakuwa na hoda wetu wa siku ya leo kutuelekeza katika tuzame kwenye meli hii ya mapenzi. Si mwingine ile ni kijana. Hmm? Eh, nimesema kijana. Ni kijana. Mnashangaa nikisema kijana azungumzia swala la mapenzi. Bas, eh tumewaletea kijana barubaru atakayezungumza nasi swala la mapenzi vizuri tena. Za mwingine jina lake ni Bipi Mwangi ambaye ni youth pastor tena ni ni mwandishi na ni mwanzilishi wa penzi worldwide ni mwalimu tena ni mentor naposema mentor namaanisha kwamba huwa anawashauri vijana wadogo kutoka umri wa miaka saba hadi 13 na pia huwa anawashauri vijana wa shule za upili karibu sana bibi mwangi nashukuru sana jihisi ukiwa mahali ambapo panastahili eh asante tunapenda wageni sana mm-hmm. ukifika kwenye vidato na jihisi basi kali ya kigoda cha vidato ujisi ukiwa sawa. Nashukuru. Hapo kwetu watu wacheka, tutabastamu, sawa sawa usinune. Sawa tunazungumzia sala la mapenzi. Kwa hivyo kununa basi. Haipo hapa. Sawa eh? Ningependa tu utueleze kwa uchache kwamba BP ni nani kwanza mm-hmm. kabla tuzame kwenye mada ya leo. Ah, asante sana. Thank you for having me. Aya, karibu. Nadhani umeyasema mengi. <laughs> <laughs> Na valia kadha. Aha. Uh-huh. Uh, lakini mwanzo kwa majina naitwa BP Mwangi. Mm-hmm. Mimi ni kijana ambaye ni mchanga, mm-hmm. ni kijana ambaye mwanzo ameokoka. Mm-hmm. Na kijana ambaye anatumai ama anaaminia safari ya kuelekea mbinguni. Uh, BP ni mwalimu, amesomea katika chuo kikuu cha Kenyatta. Aha. Amesomea ualimu, amefanya bachelor's degree in education. Mhm. Ame major in history and religious education pia uh, BP Mwangi amesomea uh, Christian leadership katika chuo kikuu cha Pan Africa Christian University mm-hmm. ambapo alihitimu last year mm-hmm. uh, zaidi ya hayo BP ni mentor uh-huh. anafanya kazi na kikundi ambacho kinaitwa Starize Mentors ambacho ni kikundi where we mentor uh, young men and young women alike and even we do leadership uh, trainings Wewe eh, kofu kofia. Hii hey, ni kofu pitu. Eh hey, na la muhimu. Tukianza kusema mengi atakuwa yametiri. Kati la muhimu. Ajao. Mpenzi mtazamaji weka kwa capital letters kwamba hajao. Hajao wala kuoleka. Oh, hajao na wala hajoleka. Akifanya hivi, watu wangu wa lights, akifanya hivi, hana mtu 
Eh? Kwa hivyo mtu anaweza pata mtu wake hapa hapa tu ndani ya vidato. Mm. Ah, bipi ninashukuru sana kwa vile umepata fursa ya kuja na kujumika pamoja nasi. Mm. Na ningependa tu tuzame ndani kwenye mada ya siku ya leo. Yeah. Na mada yetu ya leo inasema kwamba uh, mada yetu ya leo inazungumzia vile Mungu ambaye ametenga ama ametenga jinsi gani Mungu ametenga, ametenga mahusiano yawe. Mm. Kwa hivyo anasema hivi mpango wa Mungu wa mahusiano. Mpenzi mtazamaji hilo ndilo uh, mada yetu ya siku ya leo mpango wa Mungu katika mahusiano yetu ya siku ya leo ama ma, mpango wa wewe kuchumbiana na mtu ama wewe kupenda mtu basi Mungu anataka iwe aje basi hiyo ndio mada yetu ya siku ya leo na ninaposema hivi unajua watu wengi husema kwamba ndoa ni Mungu ambaye kuanzisha ama Mungu ni ambaye ameamua ndoa sawa eh kwa hivyo ninaposema hivi nasema kwamba Mungu ameamua ndoa kwa hivyo ukipata mtu bwana kama ifanyi kazi bwana Usitilie ati bwana nataka kutilia mkazo. Sawa mpenzi mtazamaji. Lakini ukumbuke kwamba sijasema tuache mtu wako. Sawa, sijasema hivyo. Nasema hivi. Ukiona kwamba mahusiano hayaeleki katika njia ambayo inastahili. Mimi mpata mtu na umeanza kuona red flags zinaitwa hivyo kwa kimombo. Yaani ziko juu sana, zime zime zimepanda juu sana. Lakini kwa sababu unapenda huyu mtu bwana eh. Unampenda sana, unataka iwe ifanyike kwa lazima, kwa lazima na ni lazima. Ujue Mungu kapanga mahusiano na kipanga haiwezi kukupeleka mahali ambapo hataki. Kwa hivyo kwa mtu. Ningependa tutuzame kwenye mada ya siku ya leo. Karibu sana. Mm, nashukuru sana. Nahodha twende kazi. Ah uh, kwanza nashukuru kwa mada ambayo tunaongelelea siku ya leo. Mm-hmm. Ni mada ambayo ni muhimu sana. Mm-hmm. Especially kwa hii generation yetu. Yeah. Na wakati tunaongea kuhusu mpango wa Mungu katika mahusiano ni ni very simple. Uh, ukisoma kitabu cha mwanzo mm-hmm. Genesis 1 mm-hmm. 27 wakati Mungu alikuwa naomba binadamu mm-hmm. alisema nendeni mkapate uh, kuwa fruitful mm-hmm. and have dominion over everything on mm-hmm. earth so uh, basically the plan of God even in our relationships uh-huh. is to thrive okay. and to have dominion uh-huh. and even to multiply in our relationships okay. but then the dynamics of how we relate is what is the prob uh, the problem of our generation today so wakati unasoma the book of genesis actually genesis 1 and verses 1 the first four words of the bible na this is something i i like saying maneno ya manne ya kwanza ha maneno ya kwanza kwenye biblia yeah. okay uh, in the english version <laughs> inasema in the beginning god aha sijiko kwa kiswahili <laughs> mwanzo Uh-huh. Mwanzo kulikuwa kuna Mungu. Yaani mwanzo ni Mungu. Mm-hmm. Eh. So in the beginning God. Yes. And you see that is where we ought to start uh-huh. even in our relationships. Kabla ya kufanya jambo lolote uh-huh. ama ka- kabla ya kujihusisha katika mapenzi uh-huh. ama mahusiano especially kwa hii context uh-huh. uh, ya like dating okay. leading into marriage. Uh-huh. We must begin from God. In the uh-huh. beginning God. In the in the beginning of my relationship God. Kwa hivyo tuanze, tuanze sana. Kila kitu unachofikiria kama ni mapenzi ama kitu chochote umetaka uchumba, unafikiria kwanza mwanzo Mungu. Mm-hmm. Kama hiyo hiyo relationship ya Mungu basi jua. Mm. Yeah, it's it's doomed to fail. Mhm. Eh. Uh-huh. Um and therefore like you see every kingdom mm-hmm. has its own governing rules. Yes. Kila ufalme eh una amri na yeah. masharti ya kule. Nah. Na katika ufalme huu wetu kama wa Kristo mm-hmm. pia kuna yale masharti ambayo tunafaa uh, kufuata, kufuata eh. ili maisha yetu ikuwe successful. Yeah. As so long as we are following these principles mm-hmm. every for every principle there is an outcome. Yes. And therefore as Christians the principle that we must hold dear mm-hmm. is that we must begin with God. Yes. Why? Because God uh, grants uh-huh. us the life that we want only when we are in him. Yes. So wakati tuko na Mungu ndani yetu mm-hmm. ama Mungu ana control vile maisha yetu yanaendelea mm-hmm. then he will perfect everything that concerns our life mm-hmm. he will perfect our relationships he will perfect uh, that uh, marriage he will perfect that dating relationship so we we must really begin from god najua umeenda umeenda mbio wake nakimbia mm-hmm. nakimbia uh-huh. sana hebu turejelee hapo kidogo Ka, kabla hata tuanze katika mahusiano Mm-hmm. Unajua kwamba tunasema kwamba mtu anamtaka mtu. Mm-hmm. O, unasema oh nataka mtu anakaa hivi ama hivi lakini wewe mwenyewe bado hujajiunda mm-hmm. ili uweze kupata mtu ambaye 
au we unataka. Mm-hmm. Kwa hivyo ni vizuri tu ungegusia kwamba ka, kabla we ujapata mtu, mm-hmm. kabla kabla we mtazamaji ushaanza kusema unataka nene mwenye cubes cubes, <laughs> unataka msana mrembo mwenye maumbo, hiyo ni ya mwisho. Mm-hmm. Amesema kwanza mwanzo lazima uanze na Mungu. Kumaanisha imani yako lazima iwe na sijui mbona. Nakwambia he, vitatu tumeongelea imani sana 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 sijui tunaelekea wapi lakini naona tunaelekea mahali pazuri. Lazima imani yako uh, uh, lazima imani yako iwe thabiti kwanza eh? mm-hmm. Lazima mahusiano yako na Mungu yawe sawa ili pia usi, usipate kitu kimea nini kimearibika haribika. Lazima lazima upate kitu kiko sawa. Kwa hivyo kabla wewe kupata mtu mzuri unafa uwe kwanza ufanye nini? Uh, pia wewe lazima uwe mtu mzuri. Uwe Kwa kimombo tun, tunasema the, the depth of your pursuit. Yes, Yay. you attract the depth of your pursuit. Kwa hivyo hata kwa watazamaji wetu, mm-hmm. uh, I know tunakuanga na ile list. Mm-hmm. Ninataka msichana ambaye uh, ni mnene, hey. nywele yake ndefu, hey, ndefu ana uchi. macho ya gololi. Sijui kama uliandika hizo insha. Ukiandika <laughs> insha, insha inakuwa ndefu lakini uh, cha msingi ambacho umekifanya ni, ku, ni kumsema mtu ni unampa mapambo mengi. Exactly. Mengi sana. Lakini pia unajua pia umri unakimbia. Unapopia unaendelea kusema wewe unataka sijui fulani fulani. Miaka inakimbia mpenzi mtazamaji. Uh, actually, actually as you go up the list becomes narrow. <laughs> Ukianza unaanza na list Aha. Lakini miaka inavyozidi kuendelea mm-hmm. list inaenda ikishuka. <laughs> Ulianza na mnene, mm-hmm. uh, miaka inaposonga unasema borake tu awe mnene ama mwambamba <laughs> yeyote yule. <laughs> yaani umefika mwisho. Umefika ule wakati umefika mwisho. Bora yule atakayekuja amekuja. Atakayekuja utampokea. Mm. Mm-hmm. Inafika wakati pia katika maisha unapata O, umefika katika wewe lakini acha turejelee tusije tukapotea kidogo eh mm-hmm. uh, ka, ka, tu, tunasema kwamba Mungu anataka ana, ana mahusiano yetu yawe katika kili ama katika njia fulani mm-hmm. na anaposema kwamba anataka mahusiano yetu yawe katika njia fulani ili ndipo sana yeye aweze kukupatia mtu mm-hmm. lakini nakumbuka kuna mahali wewe unasema kwamba eti bwana hajafanya ama hajakataa sisi kupitia magumu ama vitu vya kutoangusha angusha chini hajakataa mm. vitu kama hizo utavipitia ili ujue kana kwamba bado uhusiano wako na yeye uko thabiti mm. maana usipopitia vitu kama hivi ai jamani jichunguze vizuri kuna mahali una, unaenda kombo eh mm-hmm. uh, kwa sababu njia ya huku nje ni ndefu lakini njia ya ukristo ni nyembamba sana na ikiwa nyembamba lazima upitie changamoto kwa hivyo nilikuwa nasema hivi kama a, a, kama anaruhusu upitie changamoto ili uweze kujua ni nani wa ama ni nani ambaye anastahili katika mahusiano mm. nani ambaye na, uki, ukiangalia hivi mtu ukipata mtu unajua eh bwana eh huyu yuko sawa ningependa tu tuongelelee kidogo eh ni, ni, ni njia ni, ni wakati hupi ama ni njia zipi utajua kama bwana ama Mungu anaruhusu haya mahusiano ya, ya kubaliki mm. kwa mfano sasa tuseme kama mimi eh, mm. wakati kama huu ama mpenzi mtazamaji U, u, una umefikia ule wakati unataka kupata mchumba wa, wa, wa umoe ama wakati muda wako umefika utajua vipi kwamba bwana eh Mungu huyu yuko sawa ama huyu hayuko sawa utajua vipi um, kabla ama vile nilivyosema hapo awali uh-huh. kila kingdom iko na principles uh-huh. na so long as you abide by these principles uh-huh. you, you, you know there is an expected outcome unajua mara nyingine wakati mwingine unajikuta kana kwamba kana kwamba unahisi una uko sawa mm-hmm. na unapata mtu mm-hmm. ukishapata huyo mtu na kuta changamoto mm-hmm. ulikuwa nafikira ni mtu mzuri una lazima ukwe na uvumilivu. Mm. Mm-hmm. So ile process sisi kama the young generation and, and let, allow me to speak to the young people. Mm-hmm. Kwa tuna short circuit mm-hmm. ile idea god ako nayo. Mm-hmm. Ni kuna vile umesema kwamba kuna yale mambo ambayo huwa tunapitia maishani. Mm-hmm. Mengine mazuri, mengine mabaya. Naam. Na yote god anakuanga aki akitry kutishu. Mm-hmm. Kuna ile there is a path I have designed for you. Na path ya mwingine si path yangu. Yeah. So I must be true to the process. I must be very even as I go through my race. 
ndio pale mwishowe isiwe nilikimbia nili, nili bure. Mhm. Mm Ugo kwa kwa mambo ati wait long. You, you would rather wait long uh -huh. than marry wrong. wrong. Yes. Eh, hey, hey. <laughs> usubirie kwa muda mrefu mm. kuliko ukimbilie uka kapata mbo wa mwiti. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Usubirie kwa kwa muda mrefu ili uweze kupata kitu ambacho kinastahili. Kwa hivyo ni vizuri kusubiria. Na ndio nilikuwa nasema kwamba changamoto zipo. Mm. Ndio nilikuwa nasema mtu ah bwana mnapendana zaidi lakini kitu kinatokea tu hapa katikati. Kikisha tokea hapa katikati mahusiano yana katika. Mm. Lakini watu wengi wao wanataka kutengeneza, wanataka kupamba pamba. Uliachwa lakini unataki kuachika. Ni nini? Watu wengi wamekuimbia wimbo mpenzi mtazamaji. Ukiachwa unafanya nini? Unaachika. Sawa sawa na ukipendwa pia pendeka. Maana wakati mwingi utakuwa unampenda mtu. Mm -hmm. Na yule ambao wewe unampenda hakupendi. Mm -hmm. Mbona kuna kuanga hivyo? Yaani una, unapenda mtu, huyo mtu hakupendi. Mm -hmm. Alafu yule ambaye ana anapenda hampendi mm -hmm. na kuanga kwa nini na kuanga hivyo um, uh, lakini najua ni ni iko tasanishi kidogo maana kila mtu ana <laughs> hisia zake hisia zake tofauti and my answer to that would be mm -hmm. uh, ni ni ile kutoka tu katika mm -hmm. wili ya Mungu mm -hmm. juu ya maisha yako okay um una, utapata acha nitumie case scenario uh -huh. Samson katika Biblia mm -hmm. <laughs> Nona <laughs> Samson katika Biblia <laughs> alipenda watu ambao Mungu alikuwa amesema asipendane na wao yeye yeah, asiwa yeah, pende asi asi achangamane na wao mm. mm -hmm. him as an Israelite he was not to mix with the Canaanite women and the pagans mm -hmm. na hata wazazi wake uh, Manoa na mamake walijaribu kumwambia walijua ni yeah, walimwambia Mungu wali, siri kwani hapa kwetu hakuna wasichana wa rembo hebu shikia tu hapo hapo yeah. eti hapa kwetu <laughs> Hakuna wasichana wa rembo. Eh, nakwambia. Hata hivyo nakumbuka kwamba ushauri ni jambo la maana. Ukisikia mtu na kukataza na kwambia yule msee manze, hiyo ni sheng. <laughs> Watu wanancheka na mbona kwamba siji sheng, lakini najaribu. Sawa mpenzi mtazamaji, tukao tunaenda katika mapumziko. Kisha tukirejea atakuwa anatueleza kwa ndani. Hmm? Ati yetu ukikatazwa kitu unajifanya wewe uelewe. Mpenzi mtazamaji, wacha tupumzike tukao tunarejea. <mulia> mpenzi mtazamaji tuzidi kuzungumza sala nzima la mapenzi. Kumbuka mada yetu ya siku ya leo inasema kwamba mpango wa Mungu katika mahusiano. Tunaye mgeni ndani ya mjengo jina lake ni Bipi Mwangi. Nakwambia he anatu anatupeleka katika ule uzamu wa ndani kuelewa kwamba mpango wa Mungu katika uh, mahusiano unaenda vipi. Kumbuka ni, ni mwandishi ama pia ni mwanzilishi na ni mwandishi mzuri sana ako na page ama ako na organization inajiita mpenzi um, worldwide international ni kumaanisha katika maswala ya mapenzi ni mweledi nakumbuka hapa katika vidole vyake hakuna kitu sawa najua wewe ni mwerevu kwa hivyo mpenzi mtazamaji unaweza kututizama kupitia mtandao wa kijamii pale Facebook CFI RLM TV alafu nilikuwa nakuuliza swali mpenzi mtazamaji umewahi kuwa na mahusiano hayo mahusiano uliokuwa nayo yalikuwa ya kiungu na kama hayakuwa ya kiungu yalikushia wapi eh yali, yali, yali tokelezea njia ipi maana nasema kwamba kwa kila wakati lazima kuwe na mwanga pale mwisho yali, yali tokelezea wapi ningependa tu tueleze hapo katika wa kijamii kio unajiunga pamoja nasi ameweza kutueleza mpango wa Mungu katika mahusiano ni upi na ndio anaendelea kutuelezea na unajua kwamba unapopatana na watu na ukajihisi kana kwamba mahusiano hayuko sawa Hayako sawa tafadhali mpenzi mtazamaji toka mbio hata watu katika bila walitoka mbio kama vile Yusuf alikimbia hmm? hata Bonoko alitoka nini mbio kwa hivyo usijua kaka pale tuanze kusikia oh tunahitaji mchango oh tunahitaji sijui nini mpenzi mtazamaji wacha tuendelee kuzama katika mada yetu ya siku ya leo na na kijana mentor na pia tena ni mhubiri na ni mwalimu ambaye anatuelekeza zaidi nilikuwa nimekukatiza kidogo mm. ulipokuwa unasema kwamba huwa tunakatazwa vitu na tusikie yeah. unaambiwa kwamba huyo mtu si mzuri unajifanya ah roho kishapenda bwana basi nyama nini roho imependa Una, <laughs> unakwenda nayo uh, ningependa tu endelee kutoka hapo um, kwa hivyo tulikuwa tunaongea kuhusu Samson Samson naam uh, na kama unajua ama mtazamaji anafahamu pia uh, story ya Samson uh -huh. wakati Samson alizaliwa he was to be a Nazirite yes that meant he was not to shave his hair. Uh -huh. He was not to drink a strong, Alcohol, uh -huh. yes, strong drink. Mm -hmm. 
and there were other stipulations you know that were meant for the good of, mm -hmm. of such anointed men of god mm -hmm. so wakati ulifika wa samson uh, kuoa mm -hmm. alitazama akapata akapata msichana who was a philistine mrembo mm, mrembo zaidi ah kama wewe eh! <laughs> <laughs> akapata msichana mrembo uh -huh. uh, lakini wazazi wake wakamuuliza mm -hmm. kwa katika hii a uh, nchi yetu mm -hmm. ama katika watu wetu uko wetu mm. mm -hmm. imekuwaje hujapata msichana mrembo hey, wapo so wali ngumu eh mm. yeah, walikuwa lakini samson ali aliamua ku, kuenda out of god's will uh -huh. for his life mm -hmm. so he went and looked for a philistine woman uh -huh. beautiful one mm -hmm. na mrembo mm -hmm. ae watu wengi wanaangalia wanaangalia masala za urembo na Unajua by the way hiyo si kitu ile muhimu sana mpenzi mtazamaji. Yeah. Unapotafuta mtu katika u, u, ka, katika mahusiano. Unajua atakuwa anatueleza zaidi. Unapotaka kuchumbiana na mtu naangalia nini? Mm -hmm. Ni ile ile atakuwa anatueleza. Aha. <laughs> so wazazi wake wakamuuliza, imekuwaje hujaona msichana mrembo katika hii uko wetu? Na wakamkataza. Mm -hmm. Lakini Samson ni yule yule mm -hmm. ana represent some of us yule even in this generation. King of Kings wanaitangwa wanaitwa President Kingston. President Lakini Samson akazidi tu you know he persisted. Akaenda akapata msichana ambaye anaitwa Delilah na to cut the, the long story short we yeah. know what happened yes. Delilah was the downfall was the cause of the downfall for Samson yes. and and therefore even as we relate as, as young people and even those who are married alike mm -hmm. we must really uh, listen to the voice of the Lord mm -hmm. na jambo ambalo mimi najua na nimesomea na nimelijua mimi mwenyewe mm -hmm. the Lord is the, the, the voice of the Lord is very clear mm -hmm. I could, uh, tashwishi mm -hmm. ni, ni Mungu ama si Mungu when god speaks he's very clear mm -hmm. and and you see even god has spoken very uh, clearly to us mm -hmm. na acha turudi pale nyuma tuje kama tunafuatiliza tembea mbele yeah, genesis 1:1 mm -hmm. in the mm -hmm. beginning god yes alafu genesis 1:27 28 pale mm -hmm. unapata Mungu anamuumba binadamu anamwambia have dominion and multiply mm -hmm. no, mm -hmm. and and therefore just like i said the purpose ama god's design for our relationship mm -hmm. need to kapate ku thrive hebu kidogo eh mm hebu -hmm. kidogo naposema kwamba have dominion mm -hmm. watu wengi wana wanatatizika kidogo nipenda ugusie tu kidogo tu ili mm -hmm. mpenzi mtazamaji aweze kuelewa unaposema kwamba mungu alipa alipa mtu dominion akamwambia nenda uweze ku, kuongezeka mm hiyo -hmm. dominion ndo nini Dominion ni, ni in other words it's, it's, it's to have authority. Yeah, ni makupa nguvu mm, na, na, mamlaka. na mamlaka. Kwa wanyama, kwa mm. mimea, kwa kila kitu. Mm. Oh, mpenzi you are the kama. head. Umeweza kuelewa kwanza uki, uh, katika mwanzo mwanadamu alipewa dominion na ndio ambaye anasema kwamba mwanadamu alipewa nguvu na mamlaka tawala. Ndio mm. maana aliweza ku kila mnyama, kila mti, kila kitu alipewa dominion. Mm. Kwa hivyo tu tuendelee. So when when man was given dominion mm -hmm. now he was to he was on top of everything else okay. mm -hmm. so uh, wakati ninasikia mtu akisema ati nilifanya juu ya mapenzi mm -hmm. ni kweli watu mm -hmm. nafanya mambo juu ya mapenzi mm -hmm. but the relationship must you must have dominion even in your relationship to the extent mm -hmm. that you are the one in control okay. not your feelings and and most uh, most of the times uh -huh. most often it is the feelings that are always controlling na ni ukweli hisia hisia bwana hisia zina nguvu kwa wana wake hisia zinaongoza leo sponletea maua kesho nilete keki bwana naanza kusema unipendi kwa hivyo hisia kwa hivyo tusiongoze na hisia feelings and emotions okay that is what controls most of the people and you see the, the one of the tragic mistakes you could make is following your feelings Mm -hmm. watu nasema hivi feelings are real mm -hmm. uh, feelings are there mm -hmm. but they are not okay they are real mm -hmm. but they are not uh, the determining factor okay. to, to determine your relationship uh -huh. so yani, zisiwe ndizo msingi mm -hmm. yani ma, ma, hisia zisiwe ndizo msingi yani wewe ukipata mtu ulihisi mm -hmm. hisia zako ndo zilikufanya wewe kumpenda huyo mtu isiwe yani hisia ndo mm -hmm. 
inaisha haja misingi ama e, misingi isiwe ndio misingi yako ya mahusiano mm. hisia iwe yeah. yani ni kitu kingine ambacho kinaweza kufanya maisha yako ya hapo usoni yakaendelea unajua hisia pia upotea Yeah. Tunaweza kuwa tunaishi katika nyumba moja na ni jinsi tu sitaki kuzungumza nawe. Mm. Na kama sitaki kuzungumza nawe na ni hisia ambazo zilinileta. Bwana hey, itakuwa ngumu. Mm. Ndio maana unaona uh, uh, mahusiano mengi yanaanza kuvunjika, mm -hmm. ndoa nyingi zinaanza kuvunjika kwa sababu walipoingia katika hiyo ndoa ni hisia. Mm. Ama tu ukitazama mtu unampenda tu, mm. haujataka kufuata. Yeah. Na hiyo inanikumbusha jambo moja kwamba mm. Hivyo uh, panyo unasema kwamba hisia zisikuwe ndo chanzo cha wewe kuwa na mahusiano. Mm. Na ni, 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 tunauzungumza kuhusiana na mahusiano ya Mungu anataka mahusiano yawe vipi. Mm. Na ninakumbuka kwamba Mungu akitaka mahusiano yako yawe sawa. Mm. Kuna wakati atafanya vitu vingine viwe zinachukua muda, hazikuji tu ati pap. Mm. Mm. Zikishakuja tena leo tunakutana na wewe kesho tunaoana kesho kutwa tunaanza kushi pamoja. Hiyo ni kama isti. Mm. Tunataka ile mahusiano ambayo yuko sawa. Unapata mtu unampeleka kwa mentors like you people mentors. Mm -hmm. Unampeleka kwa mhubiri wako, pasta wako, unampeleka kwa rafiki yako. Unajua ukiwa katika haya mahusiano, eh, kakun. Mm -hmm. Ako ka kanini kama mpenzi, mpenzi mtazamaji. Unajisingi kwamba huyo mtu yuko right kila wakati. Hakosei. Mm -hmm. Hata akikukosea huisi uchungu, unaona tu yeye yuko sawa. Ni vizuri uweze kuinvolve, uweze kutaka wengine waje katika mahusiano yako. Kama mimi rafiki yangu aje, kama wewe mpenzi mtazamaji kaka ndugu ama mhubiri kwa harusi tunaitanga best couples. Yeah. Ezen, mtu ambao wa karibu sana, aweze kuzungumza na nini. Na unajua watu wa karibu hata kudanganya. Ndio mm. tunaambia unaweza sikia girlfriend anaitwa boyfriend anaitwa kuna girlfriend wa kupika kuna uh, girlfriend wa kuosha nyumba uh -huh. kuna girlfriend yani mmetupatia tu vitengo vingi mm. kama tu kuna boyfriend wa ATM mm -hmm. boyfriend wa shopping uh -huh. yani vitu vingi kwa hivyo ni vizuri uinvolve mtu mwingine ili aweze kueleza ukweli maana hata kudanganya atakwambia ukweli mm. hata kwambia ukweli kwa hivyo ningependa tu tunapozungumzia ile swala nzima eh mm -hmm. uh, kat, katika kujua kwamba huyu mtu anastahili hilo uh, ni jambo moja ambalo nimeweza kusema kwamba U, 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 at least umonyeshe mtu kwa watu wengine mm. ili usiji ukapotea jambo lingine linaweza kuwa kama ilipi hivi mm. so um, jambo ambalo huwa linashangaza Aha. ni vile tunafanya mambo kwa chini chini, chini. eh hatutaki mambo yajulikane we don't want to do things in the light a biblia husema that we are the children of light mm -hmm. god is truth and therefore we must walk in truth yes kwa hivyo hata mahusiano they must be very open Kwa nasema, there are three levels of accountability. Three levels of accountability. Yes. Uh -huh. ndio, ndio pale feelings ziki, ziki amuka. Ziki amuka. Zisi <laughs> come in between you and your right partner. <laughs> okay. Actually, nil, nilikuwa niseme, uh -huh. feelings are real, but they are not reliable. Okay. They are real, but they are not but reliable. Not, you cannot, because one day they will be here, the next day they are gone. Kesho tunakuandikia barua ni 6 asubuhi amka. Eh, Wala so, ni kwa msha na kuandikia barua ni 6 asubuhi amka. Utamka vipi mwanangu? Eh, so they are, they are not reliable uh -huh. though you cannot assume they are not there. Uh -huh. Na tulikuwa tunasema we are the children of, of light. Yes. God is truth uh -huh. and therefore we must walk in truth. Yes. So there are three levels of accountability. Uh -huh. Mimi ni ki, kama kijana uh -huh. I must have three people that I am accountable to. Yes. Wa kwanza mm -hmm. ni a person who is older than me. Mm -hmm. Now they are my mentors. Mm -hmm. Mimi I have mentors. There are people who mentor. Mm -hmm. uh, there are people I go report to. <laughs> no, mentors <laughs> don't. No, 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 no. You must have a person who is higher than you. At least unyenyeke mahali. Kuna mahali uneze nda kuripoti wa ukasikia. Mtu takuliza yale masoli magumu. Okay. Ambaya mtu mwingine heze. So that is the first level of accountability. Uh -huh. Somebody who is older than you. Somebody who questions you. Uh -huh. Somebody who asks the hard question. Okay. Then the second level of accountability is a person of your same age. Uh -huh. I call them the peers. Uh -huh. You know, you must have uh, accountability with your peers. Uh -huh. Ili, these are people who can challenge you. And when you're choosing people uh, who you can uh, be accountable to uh -huh. and who are your peers, they must be po people who are uh, well aware of themselves. People who are self-conscious. Because you must model what you teach. Mm -hmm. I cannot teach about sexual purity. Mm -hmm. And I'm the one who is um, taking out all the girls in church. <laughs> all the girls in the church. Kwa mwazewa ni kakumbuka kitu. Kwa mba unakuta una una mtu bwana hiko pale mbele. Mm -hmm. Sama ya ko present worship. Yeah. Leo kutoka Monday to Friday. 
tukutane hata uweze mahakama na kuanga mokoka uh-huh. lakini mkute sande she is the holy of the holiest uh-huh. ukikutana na kijana bwana anahubiri uh, Uh, anahubiri kwamba tuwe tuwe watakatifu mm-hmm. no sex before marriage lakini yeah. ukutana eh karibu wasichana wote wa village yenu wanamjua uh-huh. wanajua venye anajua kukatia mm-hmm. wanajua anakatianga aje na wanajua anakuanga aje kwa hivyo si vizuri ku, ku, kusema neno kisha wewe una, unatenda kinyume na hilo kusema yeah. kwamba tunywe maji alafu unakunywa mvinyo mm. tembea know. tembea yani walk your Tem- yes. yani tembea kulingana vinye unanena nena na utembea kulingana na maneno yako Mm. Exactly. and it's very important mm-hmm. that we must model what we uh, what we are teaching okay. but then you find a uh, he generation ambayo tunaishi na especially the media mm-hmm. the media has been a uh, contributing factor mm-hmm. to the uh, uh, sexual immor- immorality that is mm-hmm. taking root in our generation uh-huh. ukitazama pale kwenye social media kwenye television mm-hmm. people are advocating for sex mm-hmm. i'm actually afraid that my child my daughter and my son <laughs> will grow in a generation mahali tv nasema <laughs> it is okay sex before marriage na unajua tunaelekea hapo yes. kama mimi nakumbuka wakati wetu mm. eh wakati wetu wacha <laughs> kuniamelee wakati wetu mpenzi mtazamaji kumbuka unaweza unatupata kupitia mtandao wa kijamii pale Facebook CFI RLM TV ndani ya vidato ndani ya Current Flame International tunazungumzia swala nzima Sala nzima la mahusiano. Yaani Mungu anataka mahusiano yetu yawe vipi? Ikiwa umejiunga pamoja nasi ukiwa umechelewa, anazungum tunazungumzia swala nzima la Mungu anataka mahusiano yetu yawe vipi? Amekuwa akizungumza na amenikumbusha jambo kwamba wakati wetu kwa advertise condom ilikuwa ngumu sana. Mipira ilikuwa ngumu sana. Lakini sasa yeah. unasikia mtu anakuambia kama uwezi ku abstain, eh, ni hivi. Kama uwezi ku abstain, weka nini kwa mfu? Kwa safe Mm. So kumaanisha watoto ambao tunawaza sasa hivi ama watoto watu ambao tunawaza. Rafiki wakati waanze kuambiwa uh, sex before marriage iko sawa. Kama mwili imekataa bwana ah fanya safe 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 what safe, safe sex. sex. <laughs> mm, nah, th- th- that's a lie because really <laughs> there is no safe sex. Yeah there is no. Uh, yeah. I love I love kuna mhubiri mmoja pale America anaitwa Michael Todd aliandika akasema there is no condom for the soul. Uh-huh. Yes. Ukifanya yeah, dhambi mimi hizo vitu hiyo mipira lakini uh-huh. you must know that there is no condom for the soul. Yes. No. <laughs> no condom for the soul. Yes. Yes. Hakuna mipira ya ya ku ati utavaa alafu utende dhambi ukikuja unatoa unatupa unarudi ukiwa mtakatifu. Hakuna. Hakuna. So live life yako ukiwa mtakatifu. Mm. Na wewe utakatifu ndio na ku bring closer to Mungu. Sawa sawa mpenzi mtazamaji. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So The media has has imechangia pakubwa sana mm-hmm. katika hii generation yetu kuwa uh, na hiyo tabia ya uasheraji wacha niite hivyo. Mm-hmm. Umeongea mambo ya mipira. Ukiangalia mm-hmm. kuna advert sasa hii kwa TV inaitwa chukua selfie. Mm-hmm. Yes, chukua selfie. Yes, engage in, in safe <laughs> yes. sex. Uh-huh. Na kama unajishuku tembelea kituo cha VCT Pimo. Uh-huh. Ili ukijua hal, status yako you can continue engaging in your In, in, your, your in your in your sin <laughs> in your misbehavior yes huh? so the media is encouraging a lot of immorality out there yani ah watu kweli hawaoni kwamba ukiingia ukiingia katika sex mapema mm. hmm? we mpenzi mtazamaji tunazungumzia ni wiki ya tatu tunazungumzia swala la mapenzi kwa hivyo tuko free ukiwa ndani ya vidato tunachanganua tunapasua tunaona mm. ndani kwa hivyo sije kuogopa kuzungumza mpenzi mtazamaji ukiwa na swali unaweza kutuma arafa hapo ndani ya ya Facebook CFI RLM TV. Tuma sali lako tutakuwa tunakujibu mpenzi mtazamaji. Unajua mimi ushangaa na watu. Mm. Hawanangi kana kwamba hata ukijihusisha na mapema. Mm. Hii tabia ya ngono. Mm-hmm. Watu utoka. Ukiuliza ambao wako katika ndoa, mm-hmm. wanasema kwamba si ya kila siku kama mm. venye watu wana wanaiweka ati ni kila siku kila si ya kila siku watu uchoka. Mm. lazima ukue uko na kitu ambacho ni cha hapo mbeleni katika maisha ukue na goals mm. ukikuja kuchumiana na mtu lazima ukue na goals it's not only sex yeah. ah mnafanya hata niongee kizungu ah <laughs> si tu maneno ya ngono sawa mpenzi mtazamaji lazima ukue na kitu thabiti ambacho kinaweza kukakufikisha hapo maisha ya usoni unakuta watu ambao wako katika ndoa wanasema kwamba isipokuwa ni hawa watoto ambao tunalea tungekuwa pamoja mm. na huwa anasema wanasema vibaya sana maana watoto watakuwa wataenda utabaki ukifanya nini hapo mm. utabaki mm. kufanya nini kwa hivyo ni vizuri unapoingia katika mahusiano uingie macho yako yakiwa yamefunguka 
siku hizo hakuna kufall ni kuingia mm. macho yake yamefunguka <laughs> unaingia ukiwa unajua unaingia kufanya nini mm? mm. unaingia ukiwa unajua kufanya nini kweli mm. and i love nime napenda kile umesema mm-hmm. um, you, you see we have misplaced priorities mm-hmm. Sex is not the reason why we get into marriage. Yes, mimi hata watu wananishangazanga sana. Mimi wananishangaza. Yes, mm. we we don't get into marriage for sex. Mm-hmm. There is a bigger goal. Yeah, than, than, than sex. Than you. If you get um into marriage for sex, now what happens when they can you know, hakuwezi kuwa na sex any longer. Yeah, mtu anaweza pata accident. Yes. Akavunjika spinal cord. Ukivunjika spinal cord basi wewe ni cabbage. Hakuna kitu unaweza uka, ukafanya, macho mm. kucheka. Hakuna kitu ambacho unaweza ukakifanya. Uko tu pale pale ikiwa uliingia katika ndoa kwa sababu ya ngono. Bas, wewe utatoka tu. Mm. Maana kilichokupeleka pale hakiko hakiko tena. tena. Mm. No, no. The same mm. reason if you get into marriage because of money, mm-hmm. when the money is not there, mm-hmm. you will have no reason to be in marriage. Yeah. So we must we must be very careful. Na hata kuna vitabu ambavyo vimeandikwa. Mm-hmm. Uh, kuna kitabu kimoja ambacho kimeandikwa uh, Think like a man. Mm-hmm. act like a woman. Wow. Mm-hmm. Na na cha Steve Harvey. Mm-hmm. Pale ndani anasema as a lady mm-hmm. you need to have I think three types of men. Mm-hmm. Kuna yule wa kukufanyia shopping. Mm-hmm. Kuna yule wa uh, kukuweka kwa nyumba. <laughs> And you see that is what we are buying. <laughs> Mimi nikisikia as a lady uh-huh. if you hear that uh-huh. then you don't to try it. Yes. You you don't to buy it. Mm-hmm. But we must stick to God's plan. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, the Bible says in the book of Matthew 6:33 mm-hmm. seek ye first the kingdom of kingdom God, of God and, and its righteousness yeah. and all these other things will be added unto you so as we seek God mm-hmm. as a, as a man mm-hmm. my wife will fall into place as i seek god uh-huh. i will meet my god. wife okay. as i serve god yes umesema kitu kizuri sana mm. ambacho kimenifurahisha kwamba mtafute kwanza uso wa bwana mm-hmm. na uwe mwaminifu na uaminifu wake alafu kila kitu kila kitu mm. utajiri mke mm-hmm. watoto Mume. chochote kile ambacho unakihitaji bwana ata, atakuongezea mm-hmm. mpenzi mtazamaji unaendelea kutizama vidato na Miriam Munji ndani ya Current Flame International okay. tunakwenda kwenye mapumziko kidogo kisha tutakuwa tunarija nakwambia mate yanani yanani kabako wacha nimeze maji kisha tutakuwa tunarijia <mulia> Karibu mpenzi mtazamaji, karibu 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 tena sana. Ndani ya vidato tunazungumzia swala la la mahusiano. Mungu anataka mahusiano yetu yawe vipi. Na mgeni wetu ndani ya mjengo amekuwa akituelekeza vizuri tena zaidi. Anafanya kwamba tukue na ule mtizamo wa kindani kujua kwamba mahusiano yetu si ya hapa hapa tu. Atukiona mtu shampenda maana umependa vile alivyoumbwa. Eh, aliumbwa saa sita, basi mbili atakuwa sawa. Hmm? Usiona mwanamume ni mrefu, mweusi ama mkampenda. Tafadhali angalia ndani na uangalie zaidi. Tena uangalie mtu ambaye anaweza kubali ku, 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 kufanya nini? Kufinyangwa ama kuvunjika vunjika kidogo. Maana amekuwa akitueleza kwamba ukitaka kukuwa mtu ambaye yuko katika hali ambayo ni nzuri, lazima uwe na watu watatu katika maisha yako. Mtu ni, ni mzima, amekupita umri ambaye unaweza enda kwake ama mtu anaweza akaenda kakushtaki ukapata kusikia. Alafu mtu wa pili ni mtu ambaye mko katika umri uko sawa ili ukiwa katika hali ambayo unahisi, unahisi kwanza inakutatanisha unaweza kuzungumza kama watu ambao wako katika umri mmoja ngapata kuelewana. Unajua kuna mambo mengine yanaweza kumwambia mtu wa juu. Na jambo la tatu, uweze kuwa na mtu ambaye yuko katika umri wa chini. Hawa ni wale watu ambao wanatutizama wanasema ah ningependa kuwa kama mtu fulani ama tabia ya mtu fulani inanifurahisha nikumaanisha unapo uh, tembea katika mienendo yako wewe ka, wewe binafsi mpenzi mtazamaji lazima uko unajua kuna wale ambao wako nyuma yako na wanakutizama na ni wadogo maisha yao wadogo kama wanakutizama utakuwa vipi usije ukakuwa na ubiri kuhusu maji alafu unakunywa mvinyo sawa sawa ubiri maji kunywa maji kama unafuata neno la Mungu fuata na utu, uweze tuweze kuiona katika matendo mara nyingi tunasema kwamba matendo yana 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 sifika zaidi kuliko jambo ambalo unadisema. hata pale nyumbani watu wakitizama runinga wanaweza kushika sana wanapoangalia vitabu wakiona pictures wanaweza kushika zaidi kuliko maneno ambayo yamesema kwa hivyo mpenzi mtazamaji kumbuka wewe ni barua ambayo iko hivi iko wazi sawa na ikiwa wazi hivi maisha yako ambayo unayaishi watu wanaitazama wakiwa pa nyuma na wanataka kwa kama wewe kwa hivyo lazima ujipende na unapojipenda lazima ukae na uenende katika njia ambayo uko sawa karibu sana bp tuweze kuendelea na nilikuwa nasema hivi mm. 
Unajua tumezungunzea sala nzima la mapenzi na Mungu anataka e, ha, e, e, anataka mahusiano yetu katika mapenzi yawe vipi. Mm. Wewe tulipoanza tulisema kwamba Mungu anataka mapenzi ama anakutakia mema, mm. hakutakii mabaya. Yeah. Anapokupatia mtu anakupatia huyo mtu kwa, kwa uzuri. Mm. Mara nyingi ni e, hule wakati ambao tunaingia katika mahusiano kwa mfano o, o, kwa mfano unapata mtu mpenzi mtazamaji mhm mm umekaa kanisani watu wa kuulizi umekaa kanisani uone dada mzuri unaamua kwamba basi nachukua virago vyangu naenda nje ukienda nje unakutana na mlevi takale unakutana na mtu mwenye nanga F2 si ndio mtu wangu alait ni F2 ama ni F2 ni F3 ehe <laughs> how sasa how ukikutana nao wewe jumapili umeenda kanisani umeomba kabisa mbani kwako nakuta mtu nakuta naye mlangoni ameoga amengara anaenda zake kunywa pombe sasa niambie maombi ulienda kuomba na huyo mtu ambaye anakunywa pombe kuna uhusiano kweli hakuna ni kumaanisha kwamba nuru na giza ziezi kuendanisha kweli na nilikuwa nasema kwamba tu, tukiangalia so ma, uh, tukiangalia sala tatu katika mahusiano ya mtu kuna ukiangalia kwanza nuru na giza haziendanishi ukiangalia shetani hawaendanishi Ukiangalia tabia njema na wickedness haiendanishi ni kumaanisha wewe mpenzi mtazamaji mm. wewe ambaye unamjua Mungu na mtu ambaye amjui Mungu tafadhali amwezi mkaingiana hata ushinde ukitudanganya unajidanganya mtu ata change mm. haezi aka change sawa haezi aka change si wai badilisha mtu si project yeah. wewe partner si project wa kukuja kukusumbua katika maisha yako mpenzi mtazamaji mm. na ningependa tu tuzungumze tuzame katika hili swala unapokuwa unatafuta mtu mm natafuta mtu alafu najisi kana kwamba umechoka unajisi kana kwamba yani Mungu ameziba sikio hasiki unaanza kutafutilia tafutilia huko mm. ni mambo yetu ambayo huwa yanapata mtu uh, kwanza we must realize ama lazima tujue uh -huh. kwamba God gives the best to those who live in the chance oh yes wakati unamwachia Mungu yote uh -huh. then mm. he he commands Uh, your steps mm -hmm. actually bible usema biblia usema the steps of the righteous mm -hmm. are ordered by the lord yes so wakati hata unajisi mchovu mm -hmm. miaka inasonga mm -hmm. bado hujapata uh, bibi hujapata bwana <laughs> hey, <tujabarikiwa. laughs> lazima you must encourage yourself in uh -huh. the lord yes na ujiambie kwamba the lord in his own timing mm -hmm. he makes everything beautiful mm -hmm. he perfects everything concerning your life in his own time ni lazima tuelewe wakati wa Mungu mm. si wakati wangu wakati wa si wakati mungu. wako mm -mm. wakati wa Mungu si wakati wako wenye wewe unataka ati oh i am that i am 25 i am that if i sijapata mtu yoni wakati wako mimi mwana simu tunalewa na force subiria wakati wa Mungu ndio ambao unafaa kwanza leo kuna mtu mwingine alikuwa anazungumza naye alikuwa ananiambia oh Uh, miaka inakimbia anataka kufanya mabadiliko tukamwambia mm -hmm. kwamba watu wa kamera wako uh -huh. uh, watu wa kutanga tutatoa pesa tutasema mimi natoa mchele gunia moja mm -hmm. bp anasimamia ana, keki uh -huh. kama mpata mtu na wakati umefika wa kuoa tutakusupport lakini bwana we mm -hmm. kama wakati haujafika mpenzi eh subiria sawa yeah. subiria wakati wa Mungu ndio ambao unafaa mm -hmm. na kuna zile zinaitwa society precious Mm -hmm. ile by the time ya 25 mm -hmm. mimi nafaa niwe nimeoa mm -hmm. ama by the time ya 25 kama msichana unafaa kuwa umeoleka mm -hmm. there, there are those standards that uh, the society has placed on us mm -hmm. but we must realize that god's timing and man's timing there are two different things mm -hmm. ukiangalia hadithi ya ya uh, bibi ya Abraham Sara mhm alikaa sana alikaa sana kabla apate mtoi akakaa <laughs> kabla apate mtu hii mm -hmm. alitulia sana yeah. alikaa sana na wakati uh, Mungu alimwahidi mtoto mm -hmm. na wakati alipata mtoto it was a long period mm -hmm. it was a very long period mm -hmm. and if you can't find encouragement in, it, in anything else mm -hmm. you can find encouragement from that yes jua hata kama itakawia finally when the lord comes through for you mm -hmm. he will come in a way that hata wewe mwenyewe utashindwa kujieleza hata ukijaribu kukata njia ya mkato maana abraham pia alijaribu akiwa na sara kukata njia ya mkato eh yeah. na kumkoa akijaribu kukata njia ya mkato lakini bwana akisema haifanyi kazi mmoja anasema naye akisema kama ifanyi kazi wacha nayo mm. na <laughs> na wakafanya nani hagai akazaa mtoto mm. kwa sababu alitumia njia ya mkato lakini mungu alimsamea tu na kampa isaac kwa timing ya Mungu ndio ambayo inastahili mm. si yetu mm. tuache kupatianga Mungu pressure tunaandikia Mungu kalenda mm. date fulani na fulani hiyo siku ndio mimi nataka mm -hmm. yeah maybe ajamua kama God ajamua tafadhali 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And actually, I, I love what you have said the issue concerning Haga. Mm-hmm. Haga. Um, unaona yule mtoto ambaye Haga alipata, mm-hmm. he, he he became a thorn in yeah. the flesh. Mm-hmm. Niko, lakini ni kwa sababu Abraham walichukua mkato wakasema mm-hmm. ni kama Mungu amekawia sana. Hey. Why don't we try this? side thing uh-huh. tuone kama itafanya kazi <laughs> mambo ya kando kando <laughs> but you see it, it brought pain uh-huh. it brought pain and and you the the viewer of this program uh-huh. you must realize that when you walk out of god's will uh-huh. there are consequences yes and you see uh-huh. uh, one thing about life is you're in control of the actions uh-huh. that you do uh-huh. but you're not in control of the consequences that yes. come takatotokea hata haujui hata huwezi mm ukaweza kukibaini kitatokea tu na kitakuja kitakupata. Kweli. Mm-hmm. So you must be very patient and wait for the timing of the Lord. Mm-hmm. Tulia, hakuna haraka. Uh, there is no reward for being married fast mm-hmm. or or earliest. Mm-hmm. There is Ama no wamisho. reward. Ama wamisho. Mm-hmm. Hakuna reward. Tulipata hizi vitu na tutaziacha tu. Tutaziacha tu. Mm-hmm. So heri utulia kwa mpango wa Mungu. Mm-hmm. Uh, realize that he has the best interest for you mm-hmm. even in your relationship yes. and trust his will over your life so that you don't uh, mess up mm-hmm. eh, as, you, as you relate with people <laughs> <laughs> okay ukijua kwamba eti usubiri wakati wa Mungu ambao unastahili mm-hmm. maana hizi vitu bwana yetu tulizipata na utaziacha cha ni kama vile tunavyosema kwamba mrembo hajazaliwa warembo bado hawajazaliwa mm-hmm. ni kumaanisha kwamba warembo wapo wanazaliwa kila siku ndio hapo unataka yule mrembo zaidi ah itabidi basi utasubiri utazeeka basi kama hujapata mtu Mm. kwa sababu ni heri utunze kile ambacho unacho hapa kwa mkono. Yeah. Uh, ukipewa kitu kitunze. Usije mm. ukoona kile cha mwenzio ambacho utakiweza kukitunza. Kitunze hiki chako. Mm-hmm. Maana unaweza kiachilia mm-hmm. mtu mwingine akakiona kizuri akakitunza. Wakati wao akili yako inagutuka kukuona kana kwamba ah oh, na hiki kitu kilikuwa kizuri mpenzi mtazamaji. Alafu kigutuka unaona ah kilishachukuliwa kikarembeshwa kikakuwa sawa kwa sababu ulikuwa umekiachilia eh mm. ulikuwa umekiachilia kwa hivyo kwa unaki, una, una kitunza. ukapata mtu mwingine amefanya nini amekitunza zaidi yako mm. even tu ile lile swala ambalo ulikuwa unasema kuzungumzia ni pana tu uzungumzie sasa hivi um hata tunapokaribia mwisho wa hisho mm-hmm. kuna mambo matatu mm-hmm. uh, ya umuhimu kuna mengi mm-hmm. na ningeuliza hata mtazamaji uh, mm-hmm. anaweza kufuata haya mambo katika blog yangu mm-hmm. I've written comprehensively on these yes, issues. Yes, I'll give it same blog yes, yes. Yeah, so uh-huh. na tutayatoa kutoka Genesis 24. Uh-huh. Mwanzo 24. Ah, uh-huh. uh, ni, ni chapter ambayo it's very rich mm-hmm. on how we should relate with people yes. and how even we as young people mm-hmm. should uh, the, the, the steps that we should follow mm-hmm. even as we strive to get into marriage mm-hmm. or into those dating relationships. Mm-hmm. Na jambo la kwanza mm-hmm. is that we must marry from the Christian. Oh yes. Kama wa Kristo. Hapo sema na sauti <laughs> ya juu 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 sana. Juu sana. Aki mimi maana ninajua kuna watu wengi wa maumia. Mm-hmm. Watu wa maumia maana waku wakutimiza ilo rule number one. Rule number one. Tafadhali oa katika uko wako. Mm-hmm. Hapo sema uko sijasema ati kwa familia yenu. Yeah. Sijasema ati kabila ati kikuyu we kikuyu lua we lua. Ah, ah, nasema kama wa Mkristo tafadhali oa Mkristo. Mm-hmm. Kama uko huko nje pambana na ali yako huko nje. Maana hamwezi mkaingiana. Mm-hmm. Haiwezekani. Lazima mmoja atangusha mwingine. Kweli. Mm. Just like water and water do not mix. Yes. You know it's the, the same scenario. Mm-hmm. Wakati Abraham ali realize kuwa the son Isaac mm-hmm. is now ready for marriage. Mm-hmm. Alituma the servant called mm-hmm. Eliezer na akamwambia go to my people mm-hmm. rejea nenda kwa watu wetu mm-hmm. katafute bibi wa mtoto wangu kule mm-hmm. it's not that there were not uh, any beautiful ladies in Kuyali the place yes uh-huh. mali wali but abraham realized that these people these girls mm-hmm. they can make a wife for my son mm-hmm. but uh, they cannot make the best choice mm-hmm. so you can be good for somebody mm-hmm. but you're not the best person Where? for that person Hey, unaweza kuwa no. mzuri unaweza mm. ku, ku, kila mtu ni mke umemkumbusha kila mtu ni mke na kila mtu ni mme mm. lakini hawezi kuwa yule thabiti ama yule ambaye anafaa kwa yule mtu yeah mm-hmm. so you can be good for somebody but you are not the best choice for somebody oh, yeah. so abraham akatuma the servant mm-hmm. go back to my people mm-hmm. and that is the first principle mm-hmm. as a christian marry a christian mm-hmm. 
uh, na, najua kuna na, na ume, umesema jambo hili hapo Nye awali. Nipendo warakishe kidogo eh. Mm. <laughs> kuna jambo umesema hapo awali like mm. people are not project. Mm-hmm. Kama hajaokoka usidhani utamuokoa mm-hmm. akifika kwa ndoa. Sio Mungu mokozi. People are not project. Yes. Jambo la pili uh-huh. ni character. Uh-huh. Wakati the servant of Abraham alipata the the mschana mm-hmm. um, Uh, 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 the uh-huh. Bible inasema that the girl was not only beautiful uh-huh. but she was a virgin. Oh yes. So that raises the second issue of character. Uh-huh. Yes. You know Sa beauty attracts. Amejieka vizuri. Mm. Alikuwa amejisitiri, alikuwa sawa. Mm. Uh-huh. So beauty attracts. Uh-huh. But then character will sustain. Oh yes. Unaweza kuwa mrembo uh-huh. lakini character yako it's, it's so full ni baya tu. Uh-huh. So wakati tunaingia kwa ndoa I will leave you not not because you're not beautiful mm-hmm. but because your character mimi siwezani haingi ha, haiko mm. sawa haiwezi haile haileti shangwe haileti shangwe, <laughs> <laughs> shangwe. aha ningependa tu kwa ufupi sana eh mm-hmm. uweze tu kumalizia na unapomalizia hapo mwisho ningependa tu tupe ama uweze kupa mpenzi mtazamaji anaweza kupata vitu katika mtandao wa kijamii ah all right mm-hmm. so la tatu na la mwisho mm-hmm. ni the servant prayed before looking for the wife. Okay. Aliomba mwanzo, Mungu nipe direction. Mm-hmm. And that is the that principle. Mm-hmm. Let us cultivate a prayerful life. Mm-hmm. As a Christian, kuna wale tunasema anataka bibi ambaye anaamka dhiri kuomba, njiulize mwanzo. We una <laughs> kuomba. <laughs> eh? Ndio ikichomoza unaamka saa hii. Eh. Unaambia Mungu akupe mwanamke ambaye anaomba saa tisa. Eh, mm. Jamani, inaendanisha kweli? If you need to be a prayer warrior, uh-huh. if you need to marry a prayer warrior, mm-hmm. be a prayer warrior first. Yes. Yeah. So Katika mtandao wa kijamii ndio toa mpenzi mtazamaji atakupata vipi? Uh, katika mitandao ya kijamii, uh-huh. uh, mimi ni BP Mwangi uh-huh. on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. Uh-huh. They can also follow my page. Uh, Penzi on Facebook mm-hmm. and Penzi underscore RG on uh, Instagram. Mm-hmm. I also have a blog penzi.home.wordpress that is where I blog my articles. Yeah. They can read more about yeah. Genesis Nimeonja, 24. Yeah. Nimeonja. Eh eh. Yeah. Iko namna tu. Asante sana kwa kuweza kujumuika pamoja nasi. Sisi wana bidhaa tunasema tu asante. Tunajihisi tukiwa wanyenyekevu sana. Maana mm. tumeweza kusoma kwa undani sana. Mm-hmm. Mpenzi mtazamaji tumekuwa Hey, uh, mgeni wetu Bipi Mwangi ambaye ameweza kutueleza kwa undani sana vile ambavyo Mungu anahitaji mahusiano yetu yaweze uku ameweza kutambia mahusiano yawe na Mungu. Jamani lazima uwe mwenye uwe na uhusiano wa kindani sana na Mungu. Alafu uwe mtu ambaye unaweza kurudi chini. Usiwe we ni king of kings, sawa eh? Usijiongoze. Sio mtu ambaye anajiongoza. Uwezi kuambi, huambiliki na hausikiki. Sawa, ukwe mtu ambaye anas, anasikia anapokatazwa kitu mpenzi mtazamaji imekuwa imekuwa mada ya kufana zaidi maana tumejifunza ambao tulikuwa tunataka kuoa basi tumejitwekea tumepata kitu ambazo tutachukua na tukimbie nacho maana tumekisikia na kiko ndani maamuzi ni yetu tumesikia maamuzi ni yako mpenzi mtazamaji imefika wakati wa kupata methali ya siku na huu ni ule wakati najuanga ah jamani nitakukosa eh methali yetu ya siku Methali yetu ya siku inasema kwamba ndege hulindwa lakini lakini halindwi. Ndege hulindwa lakini halindwi. Kumaanisha unapompata mwanamke ama mwanamke anapompata mwanamume yuko katika umri wa miaka 18 kupanda juu ni mtu ana akili zake, ni mtu ambaye anajijua katika maisha yake, anajua anataka nini, anajua anataka kufanya nini katika maisha yake. Sio kama unapata mtoto wa watu, unaanza kumkomeza amekuwa yeye ni kiti Asongesho hapa, harudisho hapa. Yaani yeye ana maamuzi yake. Ndege tu ndo ambaye hana akili na anaweza kuamuliwa. Lakini mtu dhabiti keti chini naye. Zungumza mweze kuwa na mawasiliano mazuri na nakwambie kama vile tumesoma kwamba uh, mahusiano ambayo Mungu anataka pia communication ni kitu cha maana. Mazungumzo. Kwa hivyo unapokutana na mtu ni wa umri ambao unastahili kuelewa mkete mzungumze. Kwa hivyo ndege ndo hulindwa lakini mke halindi. Mpenzi mtazamaji, tena bodi kukusanya virago vyangu nikielekea zangu lakini nitakosa zaidi mpaka wiki ijayo nitasema nini? Asante na asante sana kwa kuweza kutizama vidato ndani ya Current Flame International. Ni asante sana, asante sana hata kwa familia zetu hapa mtandao wa kijamii CFI RLM TV pale Facebook. Asante, asante, asante sana.